Welcome back everyone to Crusader Kings 3. It is 1016 AD. I am now the petty king of Albany. There are actually three uh, petty kings here in Scotland. Uh, there's Alba, uh, which he's actually not a petty king. He is the king of uh, the kingdom of what we would expect to be Scotland. Um, he's actually also the weakest of the three of us. There's Strathclyde, uh, and then there's my kingdom of Albany. Uh, we want to unite Scotland, uh, and that that means eventually taking down these two kingdoms. Now, Strathclyde, in some ways, is the easier of the two because I can actually get the Pope to give me a claim on that kingdom. The problem is he's as powerful as I am militarily, whereas Alba, for whom I cannot get such a claim, uh, is very weak militarily. So I need to get some allies if I'm going to be able to take on Strathclyde and claim that kingdom for myself. Now, there are some options as far as allies go. England, of course, would be the, the best ally to get. Uh, if I could make that happen somehow, that would be enormous because they're obviously quite powerful. And in fact, let's zoom out a little bit and show you. They've got all this territory plus some territory over here in what is today the Netherlands and even it looks like Germany. Uh, and then you can see the other kingdoms, East Francia here, Lotharingia, France, Aquitaine, Burgundy. There's Italy. The Papal States have a lot of area. Bavaria has been formed as a kingdom. Great Moravia. And then, of course, a bunch of large realms out in the east. So there's a lot still to go here. I can't get England, uh, but there is the potential for an alliance with the Earl of Suffolk. I'm looking to see, though, this is the most powerful alliance I could actually get would be the County of Dijon. He's got 2,600 men, which would be a similar strength to my own. Uh, so that may be the way that we go. But I think I'm going to wait a little while. Well, not completely unexpected. My daughter's husband has died. She does, however, uh, have a child, a granddaughter, who does not appear to have inherited anything upon her husband's death. So uh, it looks like they're in the papal state. So I'm going to see if I can recall my daughter. I don't know if that's something that's possible or not to invite her back to court um, and to get my granddaughter as well looks like they are indeed going to come so that's some really good news no the truce ended that's not a huge deal though all right so my daughter's back at court so we could remarry her now off to someone else let's look for a strong alliance she's 20 years old so preferably somebody who's going to be of age here um the host of the viscount interesting we could marry her off to another um old man but I don't think we'll do that this time let's give her a match that's a little more close to her age sweet and that gives gives us an alliance I don't know what that does for our alliance power um, we have five wars that we can currently declare including on the king of Alba we can declare one on the king of England but that would be ridiculously stupid of me to do um, all right, let's take a look real quick at the situation in Strathclyde as far as... Oh, I don't have a cause for war on him right now. What's his power like, though? That's the main thing we're looking at. Yeah, I want an advantage before I go after that. Let's go ahead and, re and request the claim while we can. We have 553 piety. It'll take 290 to get it. Uh, so we'll request the claim from the Pope. And then we can worry about whether or not we have the power to make it happen. Uh, right now it's still pretty similar. He doesn't have a lot of gold. But uh, I want to wait until it's a more advantageous position. In the meantime, I have too many holdings. Uh, so we've got to pass some of our holdings off to other people. Um, here's one here that just really isn't financially viable for me. It's just not worth it. Um, let's look for members of my own family. I'm not going to give it to my son. But other members of the house would be ideal if I can find any. Let's look at the house, look at the dynasty tree, and see if we can find somebody somewhere along the way. 
that we can give this to. There's my aunt, my my cousin. He's a part of the House of Stewart. I mean that that would be a place to go with this. Grant titles, Vermandois. All right, let's give him that. So now he's got two titles. So we have a castle holding here called St. Johnston. We're going to grant that to someone. Um, but I don't think there's anybody else in my family that I can give that to. We'll take a look again at the dynasty tree. Is there anybody in the extended family like Bernard right here? Yeah, we could give it to him. He's a pe part of the house. He's pretty distant related, but we have to invite him to court first. Looks like that worked. So now let's go ahead and know what's going on here. All right, now we can grant him the title. Interesting, it's not giving me that option. Let's take a look here. Don't want to give it to my son. I may not be able to. I may have to give it to the same guy I've been giving all the other titles to. I really don't want to do that, though. All right, uh, my eight-year-old daughter is not yet betrothed. We've got this um, Polish duke here. Oh, he's the son of the duke, and he's the heir to the duchy, so uh, I think that might be ideal. We can't do a matrilineal match, though, and make that happen, so we're going to go ahead and form that alliance. We could declare on the king of Alba in order to gain Lothian. We could also claim this title here or this one. So there's three different ones we could really go after. I don't have the base prestige needed to make that happen, though. Looks like the King of Alba is already at war. And he is kind of a, a easy, juicy target to go after. So uh, we'll just go ahead and keep gobbling up his territory. Maybe that'll make me stronger uh, in taking on Strathclyde. I have my own claims right here. And then, of course, I have the ducal claims on some of these other territories. But we're going to go for this one, I think, for now. That's only going to cost me 100 to go after that. And we shouldn't need any allies to make that happen. We're going to raise our army in Sterling. And we're going to go right for his capital. Oh, we're going to fight a battle first. To the rowdy, petty King Christopher, your buttocks are what gives meaning to my life. Wait, 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 wait. Princess Alice, you are a sick, sick woman. Uh, I don't even know what to think about this. Uh, who is Princess Alice, first of all? She's a vassal in the kingdom of Burgundy. Um, all right, cool. You can attempt to win my heart. Just because there might be advantages to that. All right, that did not win me the war, though. Uh, we're going to have to do more. So let's head over here. It's kind of the Glasgow area. I seized uh, Isabu's crown after the Siege of Lanark. Okay, no fighting in the family. My cutter, uh, my cutter, my mother, Countess Ide, has been quarreling with her granddaughter for days. People, get along, please. Jeez. You're both acting like petulant children. Now we're laying siege to Edinburgh. Man, that still only gets me at 55%. So we've got more to do here. First things first, we're going to go after his army. All right, we took his vassal, one of the dukes, hostage. We have a perk to choose here, too.
what else do we need to do? Man, it's costing us a lot of money to do this, but uh, so far so good. And we don't need to call any allies to handle this one. Okay, um, strangely, I lost a battle because I ran into some raiders, but in the process, I've won the war. So uh, we'll go ahead and disband our army. And we'll enforce our claims. Excellent. So you can see Albany now cuts right across the heart uh, of Scotland. We're mostly in the highlands here. Doesn't look like there's much for me to do except we've got some ransoming to do here. I guess that's about it. I lost the trait ill. I had gotten ill. My, my physician took care of it, though. We do have low county control in Argyle. We need to take care of that. Uh, so let's go ahead to our marshal. Let him take care of that. We're back up to six holdings, though, which is hurting my income big time. Um, we need to give some of these things away. In this case, we're dealing with castles, so it's not a huge deal to give those away. Although this one's got a decent amount of income attached to it opinion of me um, let's give it to the son of the mayor here raise some lowly guy to higher places we've got a spot for a new building here in Dunfermline um, actually no, it's Kirkcaldy uh, we've got 700 gold right now so what can we do to improve our income let's build a small harbor a trade port where else can we go we've got some rebuilding to do here uh, let's look at our military for a minute maybe that's where we go next as we raise the size of our military we've got armored footmen light footmen two things three things of light footmen I'm not crazy about that. I think we're going to destroy this particular regiment uh, in favor of some horsemen. Actually, maybe some bowmen. Uh, I like the idea of the horsemen. And then we'll raise the size of that a couple of times, too. Dang, something happened. I wonder if I got murdered. As I attend some local celebrations in the schoon, I spent the evening drunk on merriment and wine. As I wake in the morning, it is to find myself in a damp cellar with a huge hangover and a newly built wall covering the exit. Wow. Holy cow. My heirs avenged my death. I was killed by Mayor Dunade of Schoon. All right. Dang. So now I take on the role of my nine-year-old son. This kind of stuff happened in Scotland. The Stuarts definitely experienced that. All right, we've got to deal with this murderer. I mean, that's a no-brainer. So let's find him and go after him. First, we've got to get our council in position, though. Got some decent counselors here. All right, so we can go after him and imprison him, but uh, we have a 0% chance um, of succeeding in that. So I'm wondering if there's not a better way to go about this. First of all, we will revoke his title. which we can give to somebody else. He's not in our court now, so there's not much else we can do, but we weren't going to be able to get him anyway. So uh, let's grant this title to someone else. Give it to my court physician. I guess I should have kept him as court physician. Would have been better probably. All right, so here's an interesting possibility for a marriage would be the Yardum of Iceland. Um, he's got 3,300 military strength. That would be huge in my desire to take over Strathclyde. 
However, they're not Christians, so that might be an issue. But I feel like that's one I'm probably willing to overcome under the circumstances. Petty King Christopher the Fourth to Kraka Rami. Let's do it. An alliance formed with Iceland. Excellent. All right, my sister is now married to Duca Martin of Cantabria, uh, who's the heir to a number of counties, as well as uh, holding the Duchy of Cantabria. So now we've got that alliance. How does that help us to stack up in a potential war here? A slight advantage, not a great one, not one that I, I really feel leaves me comfortable enough in going to war yet. But maybe. I mean, where, where are his allies? Oh, one of his allies is a member of my own house. Well, that's got to change. Man, he's got a decent size army there. We really need an alliance with him. But I feel like he's actually against us right now. Is there a, a faction? There is a faction here uh, on behalf of his mother who's actually in my court. So we got to straighten that out. I think, though, he probably can't declare war on me because I'm in his own house. We'll see. I have one sister who is yet unbetrothed. So let's go by alliance power. Uh, we could actually betroth her to the king of Strathclyde. That would make things rather interesting. I don't think we're going to do that, though, because we want to go to war with him. Uh, so we need to try and find somebody who's got a decent army but is also somewhat close how old is she she's 13 I don't think we want to betroth her to a newborn oh boy this is tough well let's hold off and see how the war goes we may be able to hire some mercenaries as well here's the military situation we could raise up our men-at-arms as well. We've got some ways to go with that. Let's start there. All right, similar military strength. Similar finances. Let's declare the war. We're going to count on the fact that our biggest ally is in Iceland. And I'm hoping he can get there before Petty King Godwin can get there with his men. And I'm also kind of counting on the fact that one of his strongest allies won't be able to participate in this war because he is a member of my house. So we'll see if that actually holds true. Uh, in the meantime, oh, we only have 112 prestige. So we definitely need to call Iceland to this thing. We'll call Cantabria as well. Cantabria, Cantabria, I'm not sure how that's pronounced. There we go. I think this will help. So first things first, we need to watch for where his army is going to be. Alright, looks like it's right there, 4,000 man strong. Let's wait and hope that the Iceland army arrives. And then we can join forces. Enemy ally did join the war. He's up to 5,000 men. Actually, it looks like the army of Reykjavik is already here. So let's try and set course to catch up here. Because he's actually going after that army. There's two armies of Reykjavik that are already in position. So if we can combine forces with those armies and catch up to him, we'll have this thing. Problem is they're going to be at war before I get there, but I think we're going to turn the tide. There we go. Awesome. Where's that other Reykjavik army? It's not coming this way. We don't need them. Beautiful. I also just inherited the county of Tanara uh, from my grandmother. Excellent. 
So let's take a look here. That's the details. We killed 1,200. Only lost 488 killed. Our knights specifically. We had a knight on the battlefield. Earl Snorri, the heartbreaker of Ormond. He killed 143 on the battlefield. This guy, uh, who's part of Iceland, killed... Actually, both of these guys are a part of his. Dang, he's got some powerful knights. Fantastic news. So I got caught by an enemy army up in Inverness that was bigger than me, but then managed to win another battle after that. Uh, the overall situation is this. 8,000 men on our side, uh, 4,800 on his side. So we do have the numbers right now. Now we're outnumbered, but I'm trying to break the siege on my capital because if he takes my capital and takes my king then it doesn't much ma matter what happens. So I'm trying to break the siege, but I didn't get any help from my allied armies, unfortunately. My counselor Abraham just died. So that title then has passed to his son. And the faction he had formed against me is over. I need a new chancellor. Not a very good one right now, but I'm going to lose this battle, and that's a problem because he's besieging my capital. I need desperately some of these allied armies to help me out. All right, looks like he didn't get me, but he did get some other members of my family. Um, my sister, two of my sisters were captured during the siege. Uh, there were other courtiers that were killed during the siege, but it did not end the war. So that's the good news. Bad news is we're still facing a pretty difficult situation. Just because I can't get all the armies coordinated the way I'd like to. See, there's one of the ally armies that I need to come with me. There he goes. He's coming with me now. If we can get him to where I am, and then we'll start marching. I don't have a army commander. Let's get one. There we go. That should give me enough to defeat this enemy army. Assuming he gets there. There we go. We got a 1300 man advantage. Now the other army's coming. Hopefully we can kill a lot of the enemy so he doesn't have those men. And it's not just a situation where we defeat him and they run away. Uh, all right, we killed 1,600. That's good. We're still losing the war because he had taken my capital, but he's down to just 1,700 men available. So now it's just a matter of time before we can claim victory in this war. Okay, we're getting close to victory. We're at 63% now. He's only got 1,800 men defending. So we just need to find where we want to lay siege and what we want to take in order to be able to force him into defeat. Let's go up and take on his army. There we go. Now we'll go back and lay siege. We've got multiple armies that are also laying siege. I have become a man. Awesome. I'm an insightful thinker. And I've done this just in time to hopefully claim the kingdom of Strathclyde. I'm the new head of Gallic culture. We'll let her win my heart. That's fine. The sacking of Dunbar. Uh, with the fall of the settlement of Dunbar, swaths of greater Dunbar are left undefended. Help them rebuild. All right, we're at 75%, but still not enough to achieve victory. All right, he attacked me again. I defeated him. I took his son and heir hostage. That's enough to end this thing. Look at that. We took... Oh, interesting. 
So I took the Kingdom of Strathclyde, but I didn't get all of this because it looks like Moray. Uh, he's held on to another petty kingdom title, the title of Moray. So he had separate ones. And we only claimed one of them. So, oh man, that's unfortunate. I was expecting to claim a lot more land than that, but I guess I can't complain too much. We need to choose a light, uh, lifestyle. We'll go with learning. Scholarship focus. I hold way more holdings than I can handle right now, so we've got to deal with that. Um, I've got 10 current titles. I'm curious to know if there are any like duchies that I can form, things like that. The Kingdom of Alba, of course. What do I need to do to be able to usurp that, I wonder? I actually don't have as much of that as I thought. I only have two. I have the Kingdom of Albany and the Kingdom of Galloway. Looking at some of my distant relations here in the house of Stuart, and I see that I've got this distant cousin over here who's a guest of King Louis, Seamus uh, Stuart, 56 years old. Let's invite him to court. And we've also asked the Pope for some money. And uh, we ransomed off a few people. Let's go ahead and see now if... Uh, Oh, we've got a couple of prisoners here. My sister is an heir. I don't really have much in the way of... members of the house that I can do anything with at the moment. i got a lot of prisoners, though. Here's Seamus. Can we grant him anything? Yeah, we can grant him a title. Excellent. Let me take a look at the titles that I have and which ones are not really worth hanging on to. We could construct buildings to make these worthwhile, but I think we'll go ahead and grant some of these here. We'll give this to Seamus. He doesn't have any children, so I don't know who it would go to when he dies. Maybe a sister of his. Good news. Uh, my betrothal is fulfilled. I am now married uh, to Petty Queen Kraka. Let's start producing some children, some heirs. With my marriage, the realm expects us to throw a suitably extravagant wedding celebration. Uh, yeah, we could use the prestige. Let's do it. Don't need the money so much as I do the prestige right now. Let me prove my devotion to you in any way you deem fit. I know what you mean by that, Countess Cecilia, and I feel a little um, uncomfortable with it. She's fasting. All right, cool. Okay, let's continue our conquest of Alba one county at a time we got a couple different ones that we can go after here in this case i'm going to go for lennox just because it kind of helps seal things up a little nicer alba still does not have the means by which to take me on i can do this by myself i don't need help from my allies where's his capital it's all the way up here interesting so we'll go for the capital Hopefully, in the meantime, he's not going after mine. He's only got 848 men, so not a huge deal. Oh, the Kingdom of Brittany has joined the war. That makes it a whole different ball game. That's an ally I was not expecting him to have. So uh, we're at the place now where 
we need to call some allies to this war. We're going to call Iceland. We're going to call Cantabria. Uh, We're going to call Dijon. It's going to use some of that prestige that I just got. But that's why we have it, is for such a time as this. I'm hoping I can win this war fast enough that that's not going to matter too much. If I can capture him here... Ah, I didn't. wasn't enough. That's okay. We've got allies that have arrived. Fate smiles upon me. My wife is pregnant. That is great news. We've got an heir on the way. We've won the war. So now we can stand down the army. Cost me a lot of prestige, but that's okay. We are growing the realm. So once again, we've gathered some territory. You can see England has solidified their hold. France is kind of broken up, so is Aquitaine at the moment. Bavaria is rather large. The papacy is solidifying things in the mainland of Italy there. Um, there is an actual kingdom of Italy that holds the area up near the Alps. Byzantine Empire, right there. Awesome. Now, once I have the piety to do this, I can request a claim on the kingdom of Moray. He does have 4,000 men, uh, but the good news is, with my allies, I'm looking at having something like 11,000 men now. So I could certainly do that. So I think we're going to try to do that. I really want to try and gobble up as much of Scotland as I can while I've got these powerful allies on my side. We do need to pass this newly acquired territory on to somebody else. We're just going to pass it on to a local Scots noble. There we go. Praise St. Bridget. Kraka has given birth to a perfect little son. And we're going to name him Christopher. That is the name that is kind of the one we've been going with. We've got Christopher the Fourth right now. We can demand an artifact from the King of Alba. Oh, he, he is demanding it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is not happening. Oh, I have his, his wife in prison, huh? We'll ransom her for 100. Got some others we can ransom as well. The curse of smallpox has fallen upon my court. The unlucky victim is Richard, one of my prisoners. Isolate him and pray for redemption. All right, looks like we have a uh, peasant revolt happening. That's fine, not too worried about that. Raise the army and we'll put it down. Uh, of course, the Peasant Revolt's going to run. They're going to probably go down and try to face me elsewhere. That's exactly what they're doing. All right, so let's do this. Let's call one of our allies, the Duke of Cantabria. And we're going to kind of rely on him to deal with that, honestly. I think he can handle it. I'm not going to go with the expense of sending my army all the way down there. Smallpox is gone. Great news. I think we're going to wrap it up right there. A lot going on. A lot still to do. We have our sights set on Moray. As soon as we have 350 piety, we will get the Pope to give us a claim. We'll go to war. Hopefully we'll still have all of the allies that we currently have, which will allow me to do that. And we will very nearly have scotland in our grasp at that point so let me know your thoughts use the comment section below we will return again real soon thanks for watching